changed my life. <laughs> I know you're good. I gave her those lines, by the way. Very happy she used them. Um, thank you. God bless Jessica. And howdy, everybody. You're looking very handsome Hi, and dapper and beautiful tonight. On behalf of Chip Sullivan and the rest of our host committee, welcome to the 2014 Glisten LA Respect Awards. We have come a long way since the, the backyard uh, 20 years ago when I was cooking the food for this dinner. So it's kind of amazing. Julia would have loved that food. Um, we are going to hear some incredible stories tonight. But I'd like to start by sharing one in which every one of you played a very integral and leading role. Thanks to the generosity of all of you in this room, we have already raised more than $1.2 million. That deserves a round of applause. Ah. <laughs> oh, but we're not done yet. We're not getting off that easy. There's a lot of kids out there that need help. These funds will help ensure safe learning environments, They'll create more inclusive, accepting communities. They'll provide schools and educators with resources and training and teach our youth that bullying and harassment are simply not acceptable. That's what you all are doing here tonight. And they'll promote a world where people are free to be themselves and valued for who they are. I think that deserves a round of applause, but that's all right. We're now going to be here all night. Thank you for your help in writing this story. And now Miss Kathy is going to tell her story. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Um, I am the very proud mother of an intelligent, funny, kind, generous, loving, and very handsome son. And he also happens to be gay. Five, thank you. I, I agree. Very handsome. Uh, <laughs> Five years ago, when my son came out to me, I said, well, that's fabulous. Now, can you take out the garbage? <laughs> you see, it doesn't matter to me if my son is gay or straight or transgender or has red hair or black hair, is tall or short or has tattoos. Well, maybe I care about the tattoos. <laughs> I just love my son for who he is. I love everything about who he has become as a man. And I don't care who he chooses to love as long as they embody all of the wonderful qualities that makes my son so exceptional and most importantly, loves him in return. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, to me, love does not have a gender. Love does not discriminate. The heart beats the same in every human being. Love is so precious that it should be cherished wherever it's found. We should not deny love ever. It's like saying there's too much oxygen in the world. Amen. I'm here to tell you that there are other mothers like me, other families like mine, who embrace LGBT youth for who they are and who there is no judgment and accept their children wholeheartedly. There has been some progress, but sadly, as an LGBT activist, I have seen the other side. I have worked closely with homeless and displaced LGBT youth and come to understand that their experience could not be more removed from my sons. For my son, coming out was a positive, almost shockingly undramatic moment. For many LGBT youth, the day they come out is the beginning of a dark journey that all too often leaves them feeling isolated and utterly hopeless. Every time a child is afraid to enter the classroom because of who he or she is, every time a child <clears throat> finds themselves sitting alone on a bus because of how they self-identify. Every time a child is called and bullied, faggot, or dyke because of he, who he or she is, it's not their shame. It's ours as a community. Amen. We as parents, we as mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters 
we as a society need to do a better job to stop hate in its tracks whenever we encounter it. We don't do this by name calling and isolating people. That's what the ignorant hate mongers do. We do it by educating those around us. We do it by reaching out. We do it with love in our hearts. That's what the organization that we're here to honor tonight does. Thanks to GLSEN, our kids are taught that bullying, that marginalizing other kids can be a thing of the past. I urge you to continue your support for this organization so that this generation will see no difference between my son and the boy that falls in love with the cute little redheaded cheerleader. Because you never know that cute little redheaded cheerleader's name could be Todd. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, I actually dated a cute little redheaded cheerleader. His name wasn't Todd, but that's, that's for another, story, another time. Uh, luckily, GLSEN is not in this alone. We're so grateful to have incredibly generous sponsors who are making a huge difference in kids' lives. And as Jessica mentioned, I am proud to work for one of them. The Walt Disney Company and Disney ABC have been supporters of GLSEN for the last 10 years. That makes me incredibly proud uh, to work for a company that stands behind what they say. So thank you. As the chair of GLSEN's board of directors and a member of the GLSEN family for the past two decades, I've seen firsthand the incredible impact this organization has on students across the nation. So I want to thank GLSEN's volunteer leadership, couldn't do it without them, including my fellow board members, many of whom are in this room tonight, our National Leadership Council, our National Advisory Council, our chapters, and of course our talented and dedicated staff who work tirelessly to make things like this happen. So God bless. Your support, and I want to thank all of you. We cannot thank you all enough. Your work is changing lives and enhancing futures as we build school environments that are free from bullying and harassment. Uh, we're very excited to be able to introduce to you tonight some of GLSEN's newest student ambassadors. Out of 250 applicants nationwide, 12 exemplary students were chosen for their leadership, their commitment to the safe school movement, and their drive to support and further GLSEN's work. Some of them are here tonight to share their powerful stories with you. You'll also get to meet Cliff Tang, the 2014 Student Advocate of the Year. Cliff is an inspiring example of all that LGBT youth can accomplish when we give them the resources to grow and thrive. We're thrilled to have all these students with us tonight. And finally, we're thrilled to celebrate the generosity and kindness and compassion are of incredible honorees. Thank you, Danny, Julia, Bob, and Derek for taking time out for your incredibly busy schedules to share your stories with us and for everything you do to support GLSEN and the students who rely on our resources. You inspire us all. There's a lot of clapping tonight. You might as well just get used to it. Now, one quick reminder, and this is always my favorite part, the online auction is still open. Ladies and gentlemen, online. And there are incredible items up for bid. So I want to just, like, Kevin, we need to talk about this, because I think you and I need to go 50-50 on some of this. OK. Oh, yeah. For instance. We're going to talk about it very quickly, though. OK. Entertainment Weekly's 2015 Comic-Con party in San Diego. The event of the year, Jim Parsons. Where's Jim Parsons? Is this not the event yeah. of the year, Jim? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and, and I've already been on it. Kevin, Kevin has phone. an X-Men phone, so we will be bid. Write that down. We're yes, bidding on that. <clears throat> bid on that. We bid on that. Four tickets. Listen to this. You don't get these items anywhere. Four tickets to a live taping of The Voice. Now, I happen to know Donald DeLine. Where's Donald DeLine? Donald DeLine. You were almost on The Voice. He, he, he loves The Voice. So we're going to outbid Donald DeLine and get four tickets to I The Voice. I can't outbid Donald DeLine. Who okay. And finally, if this doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. <laughs> Two tickets and after party passes. Now, let me just say this. 
85% of this room will be bidding on this. <laughs> two passes to the after party and two tickets to the premiere of Magic Mike XXL. Magic Mike XXL. I know for a fact that Chip Sullivan is already the lead bidder on this. So, so just know you're up against some stiff competition. Stiff competition. All right, let's wrap this up. Okay, you will let's find- Let's wrap this up, let's go, let's take them home. You will find information about our auction in the program. Please take a look and tell a friend. All right, finally, and this really is finally, I know we've said that several times, but I swear it is. Tonight would not have been possible without the support of our honorary co-chairs and past GLSEN recipient award honorees, Marilyn and Jeffrey Katzenberg and Todd Spiewak and Jim Parsons, our incredible, and our incredible host committee. I'd ask you all to stand, but I know you won't, so we love you all anyway. Now, please take a look at this special report from our friends at Entertainment Tonight. Dun, dun, dun. Hi there, everybody. I'm Nancy Liddell. And I'm Kevin Frazier.